Uh, my name is Sergio Baranzini and I'm a professor uh, in the Department of Neurology at the University of California, San Francisco. So multiple sclerosis is one of the uh, success stories, if you wish, of the last uh, uh, 10 to 15 years in terms of uh, applied research finally coming to, back to the patients. Um, although not quite, because there's this part of the disease that we still haven't been able to crack, and that is progressive disease. I think the Progressive Alliance has, uh, is playing a major role in bringing scientists together to think uh, f and focus their uh, efforts on progressive MS. I think uh, thanks to this and the availability of funds to conduct research in progression, I think the best uh, research teams in the world are paying attention and are uh, focusing at least part of their programs in progressive mass. If you were a donor, what I would say is there's never been a time before in MS research where uh, researchers have, from all over the world, have come together with this clear objective, and this is to harness all our efforts into trying to solve progressive progressive disease. The research is expensive and um, not always uh, um, government agencies are ready to uh, put in the money they have to diversify their efforts. So this is where um, uh, philanthropic efforts come in. This is where uh, patient-based societies come in to fill in that gap and I think uh, we're doing the best we can in that regard as well. And research in my lab has started to focus on uh, the bacterial populations that live in our guts. This is the gut microbiota that uh, are in intimate contact with our immune cells and they inform our immune system of what's going on in the outside, in the environment. And we've started to realize that uh, minor changes in the composition of the gut uh, microflora can have profound effects on health and disease. And it is uh, our uh, goal now to map what are those bacterial communities or those bacterial species that are potentially linked to uh, development and perpetuation of the disease. We're now uh, moving forward with a very large study trying to uh, create the first comprehensive international map of the gut bacteria that predispose to multiple sclerosis and hopefully we will be able to then uh, um, come up with therapeutics that are uh, directed towards restoring that balance, that healthy balance uh, in the gut microbiota, being that by a modification on diet, uh, probiotics, prebiotics, antibiotics, or a combination of all of the above. So this research is uh, really transforming our understanding, I think, of uh, MS pathogenesis, and we are uh, really excited to be doing it. Mm -hmm.